Incompetent Productions presents Dangerously Incompetent, that steely-eyed son of the desert in In the Desert A fourth, fifth and sixth camel is approaching where I get Top Gun and a first class mastery I'm driving the Centurion 7-1 we're on Sand River it's tier 9 battle I do start the battle with a bit of an oopsie Take a note of that T-54 to the right of me. Uh, I park up, I'm aiming, and... Yep, he jumps in front of me just as I'm shooting. Now, I would apologise, but he's at least partly to blame. Because he jumped in front of me just as I was shooting. And then, he was rude about it. Well, Enemy stuff it, Mueller. Murella, how you pronounce it. Stuff it where the sun Enemy don't shine. And his actions, well, and my shot, are going to cost him dearly, as you'll soon see. Now, I'm in my favourite position, in G1, which is just made for the Centurion 7-1. I've got a low ridge to hide behind, I get hull down, just to only expose my turret. I've got a tall hill just to the left of me, so if I, things get really nasty, I can pull back and hide behind that. And in the meantime, the enemy are milling around in the middle of the map. Hooray! And look at Muella. He's exposing his tracks. And he's already used his repair kit from my shot, and now it's going to cost him dearly. He's sitting there getting pounded because he exposed his tracks, got them shot off, and he's in the open, exposed, spotted, and blam, blam, blam. Oh dear. Such a shame. Couldn't happen to a nicer person. Anyway, moving on. Leaving that unpleasantness behind us. Now he's whinging about someone using gold on him. Oh dear, oh dear. I don't think he really has a clue. But... My shots have dried up, not spotting anyone. You can see there's at least four people in the northwest. Uh, oh, who's this? A Jack Panther. Side on, you say? Well, he's a long way away. Uh, let's try a blind shot. Uh, did I hit him? Did I not? Oh, oh, oh. Here comes the fun time. Uh, Going after him is a bit of a risk. Yeah, there we go. Now I've used my repair kit. Oh, oh he should. He really should have stayed down a bit further. That T49. There's his big old HE round, but it's all over for him. And now some meteor problems. And there goes Mulo again. He's ex totally exposing himself on the top of the dune. Oh dear. Shame he didn't stay down here. Help me with this T32. Be easy shots for him. He had stayed in this dip on the flat. So his g poor gun depression wouldn't be an issue. And you just have his spangy turret exposed and blam away at the T32. But nope, he's off somewhere else. I'm trying to hit the tracks of this, well the front drive wheel on that T32 so I shoot those out and leave him stationary and exposed just there he won't last long. There's three of them now all trying to edge up. Our artillery is taking an interest which is good news and this is where I'm racking up the spotting damage because I'm the one spotting these three and everybody's having a go. Ooh, side and rear of a jig tick, thank you very much. And again, thank you. Fourth kill. Enemy is hit. And I had to go a bit far over to get the the hull of that S3. Shot him in his drive wheel. Stationary, someone else shoots him and then I pop over to finish him off. Someone else has bagged the T32, so that's all my spotting done. And we're up 11-3. It's an easy win from here on in, I think. 
One Jag Panther 2. Long, long way away, but British gun. Accurate enough to hit them at that distance. And it's quite penetrating. Had to rush a bit for that AMX. And, well, he managed the return shot. Cheeky so and so. Someone else bags in before I get revenge. That's it, really. It's just cleaning up the last guy now. That's how you get top gun. Go to a nice position, hold down, raked back, use your gun depression, and the enemy have to come at you because it's assault. Easy peasy.